Hey guys, welcome back. This weekend I saw World War Z starring Brad Pitt and Miria... And Mariella Enos. Enos? Marielli? Alright, listen, if anybody wants to phonetically spell out that name in the comment section below, I would really appreciate it. I don't know how it's said. I think it's Marielli Enos. Anyway, insert really cool zombie joke right here, and roll the intro. With a K review! It's V-I-C? No, it's with a K. Oh. So this movie's directed by Mark Forster, and he's directed a whole bunch of different types of movies in the past. He's directed Monster's Ball, Finding Neverland, Machine Gun Preacher. He also directed one of the movies in the 007 series called Quantum Waste of My Time. But he also directed a movie that was really different. It was called Stranger Than Fiction. It was a Will Ferrell dramedy movie. It was actually really, really good. You should go check that one out. But in general, with all these movies that he's directed, I think he has the ability to actually pull off a zombie movie. So World War Z is one of those movies that's based off of a book, and in this case, it's based off the Mark Brooks one that came out in 2006 called World War Z, An Oral History of the Zombie War. And when I heard about this, I was kind of worried because, you know, Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter didn't do so well when it was translated from its book form. And since this movie's been in development, there's been a whole lot of problems with it. There's been a lot of reshoots, rewrites, Brad Pitt was mad at the director, the director was mad at Brad Pitt, and things just really started going wrong. Even after they shot, edited, and saw the ending of the movie, the producers and the directors were like, wow, this ending really sucks. We should subscribe to with the K review. I agree. So after that, they reshot the ending and then they finally released it this weekend. And to say the least, it's interesting. So as the movie starts out, you have Pitt playing Jerry Lane and he's like this UN ex special agent and him and his wife, who's played by Mariela Enos. Enos. And this really sucks. Now, just as a, as a side pig moment here, just for a second, I kind of want to know why they always de hot her in every movie and TV show that she's in. I mean, seriously, look over there. She's like really hot in real life. And then everything that she's in movies and TV shows, she looks like that. Why? Why do they want to de-hot her? And yes, de-hot is an actual term. I looked it up. So the actual outbreak in this movie does happen really quick, like within the first five minutes of the movie. And the reactions that people have in this movie are the reactions that I believe everybody would have. Everybody's like running around, they don't know what to do, and there's mass chaos in the streets. And the zombies in this movie are the coolest ones that I think I've ever seen in a zombie film, but they're also kind of different. They are really fast and vicious in this movie, and it's kind of like you're watching 28 Days Later. However, it's like they really know how to parkour over like anything that they run into in the movie. It's like really cool to watch, but they never seem to really eat anybody in the movie they just like bite people and infect them and the people all twitching like I really I really need some professional help and for a minute I really thought these things were gonna like start dancing like they were in Michael Jackson's thriller now I'm not gonna dance to Michael Jackson's thriller come on I have a sense of value in this show five six seven eight <laughs> Pitt does an okay job as a family man who's being forced by the government to find a cure, but it's really the last 40 minutes of the movie that his character really seems kind of bland in everything that he's saying. But that last 40 minutes here, we're going to get to that at the end of the review. As for his wife, played by Enos, Anos, oh god. She does do a good job playing off of Brad Pitt's character, but she really doesn't have a lot of importance in the movie. I mean, she's there to take care of her two kids, but they're not really in any immediate danger, and she also kind of seems to fade away at the end. When you look at this movie, it's really kind of like the first hour and a half that really gives the good parts and some okay weird parts. Now, when some people go and see this movie, I can see how they're going to see it as kind of like a rinse-repeat type plot thing, because Brad Pitt's character actually does go from one set piece to another set piece, and things happen within those set pieces. But I I actually like the way the movie did that. You get to see how different places in the world react to the zombie apocalypse, and you also really get a sense of that epic feel within the first hour and a half of the movie. There were really even times in the movie that it would focus on like really important aspects about the zombies, and people would have like really interesting conversations about them, but then it would end, and you, they would never mention it ever again. You go from all these epic zombie scenes, like they're falling over things, like they're going over Niagara Falls, and then you come to a, like a really small location, and then it starts to be a little bit like a video game. It was almost like a Metal Gear Solid cutscene where, you know, they instruct you to do things. Okay, your mission is to get through the maze, past all the zombies, to get the thing, and then to come back. Good luck, Snake. I mean, Pit. And then the movie kind of sort of ends. Not really sure. If they would have kept this movie on, like, a more epic scale instead of coming down to, like, a single place, I think I would have enjoyed the movie better. I also really would have enjoyed it more if the family was more interactive like they were in the beginning. If they really would have gone through the entire story with the family being in more immediate danger, then I think I would have enjoyed the movie just a little bit more. So for World War Z, I think I'm just going to have to give this 
this movie a strong 2.5K review. Because I enjoyed the way the zombies were, I liked Brad Pitt's character in the beginning, I really enjoyed that first hour and a half, it was really the ending of that last 40 minutes, that video game feel that I got, that really took me out of the movie and I just didn't like it a whole lot. So I'm going to have to recommend that you guys don't go see this one in theaters, rent it when it comes out on video, rent it for a dollar, and when it becomes streaming, go ahead and put it in your like top 25. And thanks guys for watching my show, I really do appreciate all the viewers and subscribers that I do have. If you just stopped by, make sure to hit the subscribe key above, and make sure to click those keys and tell me below whether you liked the movie or you didn't like the movie. And as always, never forget, if you don't like what you're watching, you can always turn it off. It's a thriller, thriller night. <laughs>